So I've been using my Canon T5i kit lens for a while now and needed something new for cheap. So I decided to take a look at this f1.8 50mm camera lens that I bought off of AliExpress and we're going to compare it with the original Canon lens. Now first things first, let's get on with the unboxing. So as usual, we have a China Post label and all that good stuff. Ripping open the parcel, we get our actual product box. Now I have to say I was quite skeptic ordering a lens online from AliExpress and throwing the fact that it has to ship from all the way in China to Canada via China Mail. Not very smart on my end. But I have to give credit where credit is due. They packaged it up pretty well, it's snug and the box seems to be in perfect condition. Taking away the bubble wrap, one of the workers decided to throw in a free microfiber cloth for some reason. Man's really looking out. So the box has 50mm f1.8 written in different ways on multiple sides for some reason. And then we also have a visual sketch I guess of the camera lens that we are to expect. Hopefully in working condition. Oh and the company branding is on the top and I can tell if it's Yongnu or Yonu where the G is silent. Someone help me out in the comments. So inside the box we see our lens with more bubble wrap. There was like some weird card with like Chinese letters and I didn't know what it was. And thankfully we also got a manual that does have English in it. Now that we cleared up the entire package, let me unwrap the lens. First impressions are it has good weight to it and the plastic is quite similar to the real Canon lens. Like it doesn't feel cheap or anything. There was also a plastic cover on the lens glass which felt satisfying to take off so there's that. The lens cap works fine, nothing unusual about that. I do dislike the fact that there is heavy branding on both the front and rear lens caps but hey, it's whatever. And there was another plastic cover after taking off the rear cap as well. Final exterior observation of the lens would include the red dot to align your camera body with. Then you got the ability to shoot manual or focus with the flip of a switch. And also the focus grip seems to have very similar friction to the original lens. Now that we've unboxed it, had our first impressions, let's compare it literally side by side to the original Canon lens. In terms of weight, the fake lens does feel a tad bit lighter than the original, but if I wasn't holding both lenses together, I wouldn't have been able to tell. The red dot alignment is on the opposite sides, not that it would really make a performance difference, but worth pointing out. The focus switch seems to be identical, and the lenses have good grip on the focus dial and once again very similar friction. But I do want to mention that the original lens sounds a little bit more hollow if that makes sense. And then try the other one. Now let's go try the fake lens to see if that even works. For the record, attaching the lens to my camera body went flawless and there was no surprises during this. So to be fair, the fake lens seems to have exceeded my expectations and is holding up quite well in this comparison. So to test the lens out, I decided to do something different, a blind test. I will be taking two identical images, one with the Canon lens and one with the fake lens. And I want you guys to try to guess which photo was taken from which and at the end I will reveal the final truth. Okay, so if you picked a drum roll, please, that was the original Canon lens. And if you picked B, surprise, surprise, that was the fake lens from AliExpress. You might have noticed small differences like the distance from the object and whatnot, but that can be accounted as human errors. I'm not a robot, guys, come on. So I guess you must be as shocked as I was with the performance results. Like, 
Who would have thought a $55 lens to be as good as a $160 lens? Crazy, right? Well, the takeaway is that Canon definitely has some good profit margins. Now, to be fair, I can't comment on long-term usage and maybe that's when the original will really shine, but who knows, right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on those notifications as well. With that being said, this is Tech Alpha signing out, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.